hello viewers and welcome to my youtube channel today as usual like any any other day we are going to continue with our normal business of the day that is solving mathematical equations in our today's tutorial we are going to see how we can provide a solution to k in this equation involving number basis so follow me let's solve the equation together the question is saying 135 to base k is equals to 231 that we should find k so solution solution 135 to base k is equals to 231 to base 4 and and we were asked to find the value of k but to remember that when it comes to number of bases it involves natural counting from zero so and secondly what i would like to tell us is that this counting normally as usual start from zero and it start from the right hand side to going to the left hand side so when we look at it i have three digits here i have one three and five so also to the right hand side i have three digits two three and one so this five is representing zero when it comes to number bases this is zero this is one and this is two so also to the right hand side this is zero this is one and this is two what i'm saying here is that this k will have to multiply this five you will call it zero it will also multiply this three we'll call it one it will still multiply this one we'll call it uh two so but that two is not two but is the power of two so also this uh what i'm saying here is that i will have one multiplying k but what is the position of this k the position of uh, what is the position of this one the position of this one is in the position of power of two because i have i have zero one and two so here i would say two raised power of two that means i'm done with one remain three so i will still open the bracket and put three multiplying the same key but in this case what is the position of three the position of three is in the position of Rest to the power of one because this is rest to the power of zero, this is rest to the power of one, and this is rest to the power of two. We are done with rest to the power of two. Uh, we are now on the rest to the power of one. So it's like having a virtual two here, a virtual one here, and a virtual zero here. And we all we all know that anything rest to the power of zero is one. So let me let me clean. So this is rest to the power of one. Is the same thing as writing k without anything so i'm done with that i'll still open the bracket and put five because five multiplying k raised power of zero is the same is still five but someone may decide to multiply the five uh with k raised power of zero is the same is still the same thing so it's equals to so also this these two is uh uh, is the same thing as the uh, multiplying it by four with the power of two because this is zero this is one this is two so it's like having two multiplying four because it's the best four the reason why i multiplied everything here by k is because the base is k so k k and k this one also contains k the reason why you didn't see anything is because k raised to the power of zero is one and one times five is five that is why we are seeing only five this is two one and zero and n raised to the power of zero is one so this is raised to the power of two because two is in the position of uh two raised to the power of two so close the bracket open another one so this is three now times four because it's the best raised power of one plus one now and one times four raised power of zero is still one so close the bracket so k square uh, yes times one is still k square yes k squared then 
plus k times 3 is 3k plus 5 is equals to uh, 4 squared is 16 16 times 2 is 32 plus 12 uh, plus 1 so I have k squared plus 3k plus 5 uh, is equals to 32 plus 12 is 44 plus 1 is 45 so 45 and this is k squared plus 3k uh, four, uh, 5 minus 45 is uh, minus 40 is equals to 0 and we can see that this is a uh, this is purely quadratic equation so let's see whether we can factorize this because it will be more easier so since the coefficient of k here is 1 uh, sorry of k square here is 1 so uh, I will have to put k here close the bracket and put another k here because when it comes to quadratic equation we all believe that we must have two different roots so what are the two factors that when multiplied will get negative 40 and when add or subtract will get 3 and uh, I believe it should be positive 5 and negative 8 I'm sorry negative 5 and positive 8 because by the time uh, I subtract 8 I subtract 5 from 8 I'm getting 3 and by the time I multiply the 2 I'm getting negative 40 so remember the product rule when two uh, numbers or two alphabet or any digit multiplying themselves to be equal to 0 that means one of them must be equal to 0 that means it's either k minus 5 is equal to 0 or k plus 8 is equals to 0 that means k is equals to 5 uh, or k is equals to minus 8 so my, my viewer try to check by plugging in back into this equation 5 and minus 8 and see which of the two sat uh, satisfy this particular equation and these are the values possible values of k that will satisfy this particular equation involving number basis don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting content like this and many more